Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hey all, in this very next video I just wanna share to each and every one of you guys About the dark in breaking the glass ceiling Or shattering the glass ceiling Breaking the stigma and or maybe breaking the stereotype uh, In a society that I live in It's, uh, I can tell you that it's hard you guys to what is it to be the class ceiling in society with mental illness and mental health because uh, the society that we live in are not familiar enough with mental illness and mental health so for the past couple of years I have been shattering the glass ceiling I've been shattering the stigma of the society that I live in about mental illness, about mental health and stuff like that but it's hard you guys it takes a village, it does take a village to make um, that, you, that person understand about what, he, what mental health is about what mental illness is, about how to cope with that and it's hard you all to make them understand but and in the back of my head I feel that I am tired to break that kind of glass ceiling, that kind of stigma in society and I'm the state of mind when I don't give a fuck with everybody else have to say about me with everybody think of me because I'm on the state of my name fuck out you guys can say whatever you want to say about me you guys can say whatever you want to say what you want to say about me but and but at the end of the day it's only bring me down and in, in, up, up, obviously incorporating into my pretty severe anxiety and depression and it's hard you guys to to live in a society that is still don't know about what, what mental health is about what mental illness is I have been shattering and breaking the glass ceiling for the past couple of years but it seems like yeah it it has no end but thank god uh, lately maybe for the past couple of months people nowadays are open-minded about mental illness and mental health and stuff like that so far and so on so i'm glad that they finally was opening their horizon about mental illness and mental health and stuff like that and yeah uh, when i was trying to break the glass ceiling to shatter the glass ceiling it is really incorporating into my pretty severe anxiety and depression or maybe incorporating into my suicidal talks you guys because it's hard to talk to everybody or maybe to to bunch of people everybody and their mama everybody and their mama in this society that I live in are not happy enough and are not familiar enough about what mental health is, about what mental illness is. So yeah, it's hard to wake up every morning and you guys have to get through the day with that kind of person. But I have been dealing, I have been struggling and I have been coping with that kind of stigma, with that kind of stereotype, with that kind of the glass ceiling. And I just wanted the one to be the one who break that glass ceiling or stigma but thank god uh, uh, people nowadays are more open-minded about mental health 
about um, anxiety, about depression, about mental illness, so on and so on and stuff like that. I am so glad that many people nowadays are now op- open-minded about mental illness and stuff and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all you guys for this video. I just want to share to each and every one of you about what I have been doing this past couple of years, which was breaking the glass ceiling, breaking, shattering the glass ceiling uh, in society about mental health, about mental illness and stuff like that. And I just want to encourage each everyone you guys out there to do the same thing. We need to break the, the stigma. We need to break the stereotypes. We need to break the glass ceiling. We need to shatter the glass ceiling about mental health, about mental illness and stuff like that. Because it's hard to wake up every morning and doing our day-to-day basis with that kind of person but yeah maybe it takes a village once again i said that it takes a village to make them understand what, what mental health is about what mental illness is but thank god um, nowadays people are more open-minded about mental health are open-minded about mental health mental illness so they know what they have to do maybe they can go to find therapist to find counselor to find psychiatrist or maybe they can find someone to talk to there is the first and foremost that you have to do is find someone to talk to find someone and you can share your everything with your problem with there is the first and foremost thing that you all have to do and I just want to give a shout out for a couple friends that have been there from, for me at the drop of a hat and I cannot thank you all enough thank you for your undying and endless support prayers and love on me I just want to thank as each and everyone who has to keep playing on me, to keep loving on me and to keep supporting me because it sustains me, it sustains my life and I just want to encourage you guys to believe in God, to lift everything up to Him and glorify Him to Him because God is the best listener of all time God is the best counselor of all time and God is the best healer of all time and I just want to encourage each and every one you guys to do to believe in God to keep praying on him because God always listen to his children so that's all for this video you guys if you guys have a similar situation or circumstances with me maybe you guys can comment down below maybe we can share our each other experience about dealing about breaking the glass ceiling in society about mental health and mental illness so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your appreciation and i see you guys in the next video bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i love you all